think it's still magical, even after 45 years as a potter, to take this material that has no shape and find a shape in it and to feel like I have the skill most of the time to make something that I envision in my head is it's just really a delight, I have to say. It's magical sometimes. I, I love demonstrating for students because they're always in awe. And I still like watching other people work because it's the same thing, you know, just to watch this material form under your hands. The elements I enjoy is the interaction with other students. I learn probably as much from the students, shh, don't tell them, as they, I hope, learn from me, in that they do things that I would never do, and I'll look at that and I'll think, you know, I could use that, I could sort of run with that, try something different. There's a lot of technical aspects to ceramics to be successful. Firing is certainly a big one of those in that firing it at the proper rate so it doesn't crack, making sure you fire things to exactly the right temperature. Opening a kiln, the students often refer to it as like Christmas because you see all this work transformed into bright colors that weren't there before. I think making actually functional pottery is probably one of the hardest art forms to make something that's really compelling and moving because it's so abstract and there are so many other limitations by the medium, by the fact that you've chosen function as a restriction to put on your work, sort of like a painter might say, I only work in acrylics. It's really the same kind of choice. Ceramics is appealing because as a material, it can work in a lot of different ways. So it can be a more sculptural material. You can work with the surface and enhance it with drawings and paintings. It really has the ability to be a very versatile material that can fit anybody's interests. I came to San Diego because Richard Briquette's here. And what I mostly wanted to study was the technical side of pottery making, the chemistry behind clays and glazes, and he's a well-known expert on all that stuff. And I still can't believe, you know, I'm getting a master's degree and I play with mud. The power of love is flowing through. I tell my students, you know, your work is going to be around for 10, 20,000 years, so make good work. <laughs>